crafty friends this is Tasha with a date with my craft room uh, today I wanted to share with you the haul that I got when Sarah from crafting and relaxing and I went shopping together um, we went to the creating keepsakes convention had a great time and we were also able to hit up our uh, local Tuesday morning in Tacoma and then also I took her to a local craft and scrapbook store called Artco. So let's get started. Um, I will probably insert some footage at the beginning or the end of this video. So stay tuned and I hope you guys enjoy. So Creating Keepsakes Convention had about 20 or 30 different vendors there. Um, my favorite booth was Echo Park because I had never shopped from Echo Park's vendor booth before, so that was kind of fun. And I'll show you what I purchased from them. So the first thing that I got was this Tombow colored pencil eraser. Um, this is a sand eraser. I'm pretty sure this is a sand eraser. So I got a couple of these because I'd been seeing um, Jennifer McGuire use this. So. Um, any type of marks or anything that you get on your paper, um, this will take it off. And so I'm excited about that. Queen & Company always has really great embellishments. They have fantastic things for fillers um, in your shaker cards. They have little flowers and beads and gemstones. They've got all kinds of embellishments. And this time around, I chose to pick up these little diamond jewels. Um, these were three for $10. And guys, these are gorgeous. They look like re real diamonds, like like a jewel thief would, would have. Look how pretty. I think these are just going to be fantastic for my Christmas shaker cards that I'll be making. So I picked up two of those clear ones. And then I had to pick up this gorgeous red. Look how beautiful. I just, oh my gosh, I'm so excited. They also had green and blue and every other color of the rainbow, um, but three for $10, I just picked up the three. So that was from the Queen and Company booth. So I was really glad to pick up those. Echo Park had an amazing sale. We were lucky enough to speak to one of the representatives of Echo Park. Um, I don't remember his name, but he was super nice. And I'll share some more information that he uh, was kind enough to share with Sarah and I regarding their um, Tuesday morning uh, kits that they prepare for them, as well as the Echo Park um, Club kit. So the first thing I picked up from the Echo Park uh, booth was this chipboard. This is this beautiful Merry and Bright chipboard. This came out last year and it was only $2. And so I could not pass it up. And it's got the beautiful gold foil. Super, super pretty. So I picked that up. I also picked up two of the enamel dot sets to go with it. It's um, $2 each. So also really great deals. Um, they had this chipboard. This is Animal Safari, and I also picked up the paper to go with this. This is really, really fun. Um, I don't think I've seen this collection before. So I picked up that one for $2. I really love the, the sloth. Look how cute. Cute, cute. So I picked up that, and they had a deal where they had these um, paper packs. So you could pick out paper packs, uh, four for 20, or I think you could pick out 10 for $40. I didn't need that many, so I just picked up four for 20. So these were essentially $5 each, which is a fantastic deal. So I picked up this pack. This is called A Dog's Tail. It's super, super cute, and it's by Echo Park. And this is the collection kit, so it comes with the sticker sheet. Really, really cute. I like the colors. It's kind of like really muted and neutral. So I picked up that one. I also picked up the 12 by 12 paper pad of um, Animal Safari to go with the chipboard. 
stickers that I bought. This is really cute. I'm gonna use this for um, Animal Kingdom um, for our Disney World trip. I'll share with you guys. So here's the paper. Really cute cut up. So this could be for, and it's not double sided, but this could be for like uh, the zoo, for animal safaris, for um, really, really um, fun summer vacations. Super cute, right? Look at that sloth. I really like the design of this. It kind of has like a, almost like a Stephen Duncan kind of illustration feel to it, but I don't think it was designed by him. And I'm, I'm loving the, the blues and the greens in this collection. So and there's that awesome cut apart. So you get two of each and this one's called Animal Safari. So um, that was the second one I picked out. I also picked out the Tartan number one. I was able to get my hands on Tartan number two, which was the Christmas um, line that they had come out with last year. And I absolutely love this paper. And this is Cartabella. So they had Cartabella and Echo Park at the booth. They didn't have as many selections uh, for Cartabella papers, but I did um, pick this up because I, I had been eyeing this for a while. So this is Cartabella, so it has the amazing texture. It's got this really, really great pink plaid, so it comes with two of each. Really, really cute. I love this navy blue. For $5, guys. I mean, come on. And I really love this one. I think I can incorporate this one into my Christmas um, stash. This one, I'm not a real big fan of, but... And then this I can use for Easter. So this is Tartan. And then lastly, um, as far as the paper packs, I picked up Christmas Wonderland. And this one is by Stephen Duncan. So I really, really love this and I had never seen it before. And uh, ironically, we went to Tuesday morning after the um, convention and they had this at Tuesday morning this week so but it's $5.99 at Tuesday morning and I only paid five dollars so I got a deal but look how stinking cute this is I am in love look at that the illustration is so vintage right up my alley oh my gosh I absolutely I'm in love with this. So here's the papers. I'll go ahead and open it up for you guys. Because I don't know if you guys have seen this one before. I certainly hadn't until, until I saw it at the booth. So there's the sticker sheet. So this is Echo Park. So it is not textured. And while I'm flipping through this, I will share the information that the gentleman at the Echo Park booth shared with us. He said that... The designs for Echo Park and Cartabella are pretty much interchangeable. The difference is the paper. So, when you're at Tuesday morning and you're shopping, you will see designs and paper packs and collections that were originally sold as Cartabella and they were textured. And then they are then um, reprinted on plain cardstock um, and then rebranded as Echo Park and then sold to Tuesday morning. So to <laughs> I know it's kind of confusing. So to recap that any paper that you purchase that is smooth, it will have an Echo Park label. Any paper that you purchase that is textured will be Cartabella. So this, even though this is a Cartabella collection, see, it's a Cartabella collection, the paper is labeled Echo Park because it's smooth. So I hope that that kind of clears up any of your guys's um, questions about the Cartabella versus Echo Park. Now, if this paper had been textured, then it would say Cartabella at the bottom, which, um, 
I'm really disappointed because I was hoping this would be textured and it's not, which is fine. The designs are really nice and luscious. Um, so, and the colors, but I, I mean, to be honest with you, this is just this vintage, this vintage feel is just really awesome. So that's one thing that we did learn from the gentleman because I was, I was giving him the Spanish Inquisition. I was really asking him so many questions about why there are some inconsistencies in the paper pads at Tuesday morning and blah, blah, blah. And he said that if there are any duplicates or if you're missing any kind of papers in the collections at Tuesday morning in the kits, it's simply human error. They are not selling Tuesday morning um, kits that are... Um, mistakes you know like the ones that are like accidentally missing something they're not purposely selling them those those um kits are just human error look at these cuddle parts oh man these are so cute super super cute i'm gonna pull out my october afternoon stuff and i bet this is gonna go perfectly with my october afternoon stuff that was designed by stephen duncan as well so once again this is echo park paper because it's smooth but this collection was originally released as cartabella paper all right so that's the last collection kit that i purchased for the uh, four for 20. and then i found some other goodies so i found this really beautiful die this is season's greetings and it's a pretty large size and this was only five dollars I also picked up this uh, die for $5. It's a reindeer and a sled. Cute. And then I picked up some ephemera packs for two bucks each. I picked up the Let's Cruise ephemera pack because I don't think I have this one. I picked up a dog's tail to go with my collection kit that I purchased. And then also I picked up Once Upon a Time ephemera pack because I have the collection kit to this and I don't have the ephemera. So. So that's what I got from, that's all that I purchased from the CKC. So now let's move on and I'll share with you what I got from our local Tuesday morning. I didn't go too crazy. I just picked up this Pebbles Cozy and Bright. This came out last year and I passed on the paper pad, but um, I do have the um, embellishments. So I went ahead and picked up the paper pad for $6.99, super freaking cute. It's got some glitter, some frosted glitter accents, which is really, really beautiful. I love this one. So um, it looks like this video is running a little long. So what I'll do is I will do a separate video with the footage from CKC um, with Sarah and myself because I don't want to make this video too, too long. So this is cozy and bright, and I was able to pick up a few stamp sets to go with it. I picked up this one. Um, this is so cute. Um, it was $2.99, and it says no peeking. It's got the really beautiful um, house, and then this little jingle all the way sled. Really love that one. I also picked up this um, stamp set. I really wanted this one for the candy canes, uh, the peppermint, and then the hot cocoa. This little guy's kind of weird. I don't know if you guys like him. And then I also picked up this Merry Days stamp set, mainly for the car and the snow globes. So, so that's all that I purchased from Tuesday morning. And then I took Sarah to my local scrapbook store called Art Co. And um, it's similar to Ben Franklin and something that she kind of had a hunch about, which I had no clue, is that Art Co. Craft and Frames, they're in the same buyer's group as Craft Warehouse. So they'll have a lot of the same products, um, which is kind of cool. I didn't know that. So this is a stencil I picked up. This is from the um, Echo Park My Favorite Winter collection. And I just really, really wanted a really beautiful kind of wintry stencil so I could make um, some really fun backgrounds on my cards. So I picked that up. I picked up the worn wallpaper from Tim Holtz's new Christmas line. I'm sure 
I'm almost certain that Joann's will carry this um, eventually, but I just couldn't wait. So I went ahead and picked up this year's um, designs. I still have last year's leftover, some of those. But this is a little different because he included... Oh my god, that is so cute. He included some blues in this one. Look how gorgeous. Um, oh my god. <laughs> I have to tell you, I'm, oh my god, I'm freaking out right now because these are so cute. Wow. I'm so happy I picked that up. And then this is a repeat from last year. Um, this last design. So that's a repeat. This is new. This is new. That's new. Y'all, these are gorgeous. And they have like a a wallpaper texture. This one, I'm dying. Okay, so I went ahead and picked that up. And then I also picked up Tim Holtz's new 8x8 paper pad from this year. This is double-sided and it's really, really pretty. Man, I love those holly leaves. So I don't know if you guys have seen these yet. This is my first time seeing this. Wow, that is so pretty. I'm sure that Joann's will get this, but I couldn't wait. Look at that blue. This is the newest designs um, that he's incorporated to this year because last year he didn't have a lot of that sky blue. It was a lot of dark colors. Really, really pretty. I love this red and white wood grain. That's really pretty. And then this one. Goodness, goodness, goodness. So, so pretty, pretty, pretty. All right, so that is all, guys. That's my haul. I will be sharing the footage from our CKC adventure. Um, and uh, if you go check out Sarah from Crafting and Relaxing, she has also done a video with footage from our shopping trip. And I think that she has a haul video coming out. So thank you so much for watching, guys. I appreciate you, and I'm going to try to um, play catch up, share more projects, and I will see you in the next video. Until then, happy crafting.